Hey guys, hope you're well. Here we are with something a little bit different. I thought I would do a video reacting to my earliest video. I've been creating content for about three years. I started the channel in 2020, but I started regularly uploading in February of 2021. So I've been creating content for about three years now, and I figured it's enough time to have a look back at my earliest video perhaps we'll watch a few and just kind of reminisce and comment on the things that have changed and the differences between then and now and perhaps differences in how I view type I'm not sure just to have or maybe just to have a little bit of a laugh as we did on that fateful day where we watched that video with me giving 10 signs that you're not over your ex why would I bring that up again? And look, I felt like I had energy today randomly and when you're pregnant, you just gotta grab the bull by the horns when that happens and make a video. I did not quite have enough energy to film a full skit in which I changed multiple costumes though. So that's why I'm here in just regular clothes with barely any makeup and we're just gonna watch some of my old videos comment, chat a little bit about how the channel has gone, how YouTube has gone, and uh, what I think of myself back in those times. All right, so we've hopped onto the channel. We're just gonna filter these by oldest and just get going. So this is 16 personalities react to lockdown being extended. This was something I created on an absolute whim. I did not have a YouTube following at this point. I think the first four or five videos I posted did not have a following. It was that I created them in lockdown so that I would be more energized and have an outlet for my theatrical spirit. And I just published these videos to my personal Instagram page before they ended up on YouTube. So let's have a watch, shall we? And BTI types react to lockdown being extended. Oh, what a surprise. The government's figured out that they can control us. Go on, tell us how much you care about the people. Sweet! I would make now that exact skit. I've the 17 different projects that I've started. Well, of course it's being extended. No one's obeying the rules. Sarah's not going to be taking this well. I should call her. This is funny because I'm experiencing it as an audience member for the first time and I'm realizing how quickly the video moves along and I feel like I need time to process each bit before it moves to the next one. I'm already thinking that I would write most of these bits the same way, especially the 1989 book. 1989, I have been listening to too much Taylor Swift. 1984! Oh no, more people are gonna text me about this. We'll see about that. Oh, thank goodness. Now I don't have to change my routine again. Oh. There were so many ESTPs that I knew in lockdown who disobeyed the rules. I mean, no, they didn't. I'm not throwing anyone under the bus there. This feels like a time capsule going back to lockdown and now it just seems so irrelevant. It's amazing how quickly we, we humans move on and we adapt to the next thing. Oh, thank goodness. Now I don't have to worry about attending social gatherings while still maintaining a social distance. This thing is still out there. No. Don't say it. Don't you dare say it, newsman. No! Guys, the party's off. I threw no parties in lockdown. Oh no, lockdown's extended. This is really bad. <laughs> uh, did you hear that, Jessica? Have we only that one's my favorite. You today, thank you. You come back in and close the door behind you. Lockdown is all in the mind, man. I would do ENTJ differently now. I feel like ENTJs aren't rule followers. I think this is something that I had a very misconceived idea about at the beginning of the channel was I didn't really understand the difference between ESTJ and ENTJ. And I think I just put them as just rule followers, bossy rule followers. I feel like an ENTJ would be questioning lockdown and wanting to rebel against it unless the ENTJ had particular values that aligned with the whole lockdown principle. But it's really hard to say. Just gotta go with the stereotypes, you know? Because every character could have nuance if you gave them nuance. I am not about giving characters nuance, thank you. Don't clip that and spread it, please. Now do you guys want to talk about your feelings? <laughs> and change. Hey guys! Sorry, Mickey, we were out of juice, so I decided to just go to the store. <laughs> what did I miss? I feel like ESFJ wouldn't just casually go to the store in lockdown. They'd be pretty keen to like 
save the tribe and like not break the lockdown rules. All right, let's head back to the channel and watch another couple of ones. Wow, my second video was MBTI census planning shopping trips in lockdown. I do not remember this one. All right, guys, let's go over the plan one more time. At 9 a.m., team A will enter store left, team B store right. Each team will head down their respective aisles, picking up the items according to the list that I sent you via email. At 9 or 3 on the dot, you will meet me at the butcher. I will be standing there with a the singular trolley. You will offload your items into the trolley, then I will head down to pay. Yeah, I did get the email you sent. I was thinking, I can just go and shop for all of us. If you are as efficient as planned, you will be done by 9.10. You will then drive to my house where I'll be waiting for you outside. You will drop the groceries one meter away from me, making sure that you hand sanitized first. <laughs> now I've heard that they have the cheese and bacon shapes on sale. Cheese and bacon shapes are so good. What's that? Nah, who cares if a security guard sees us? I think it's probably better if we don't risk it, guys. Yeah, I was gonna use blue, but then I just felt like the red indicated a sense of urgency better. <laughs> yeah, I never agreed to a shopping trip. We will then meet at the butcher, silently acknowledge each other, then subtly drift into aisle two, at which point we will spread out into different directions and pretend to be looking at different objects. That way we will hopefully get to socially interact for at least five minutes before being spotted by someone. I did stuff like that in lockdown a lot. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't disobeying rules, but it was more like whoever I happened to go on the shopping trip with. Wait, did I? I feel like I did once or twice. Oh, I did, yeah. I did once or twice, like, kind of meet up with my friends by coincidentally going shopping at the same time. But we would maintain the 1.5 meter distance rule, mostly because, like, I just didn't want to get in trouble because that would, like, ruin the vibe. But it was thrilling, like, shopping with each other, but being far away and, you know, trying to, like, be secretive about it. So I did do that a few times. Also, what a time capsule lockdown, hey? And it lent itself to so many different scenarios for skits. But I just can't believe how, how far away it feels and how like a society has just seemingly forgot about lockdown and the feeling that it uh, gave us and how the government low key tried to control us, especially in Australia. Oh, as Moana lyrics. I really like this one. <laughs> from a sunken pirate wreck this tradition is our mission and honestly i could go on and on i could explain every natural phenomenon you don't even know how you feel there's so much to do help me laughing at myself that's right we stay we seek that we will provide me my whole life people Inside is who you are. I need you words to tell her argument apart. You granny lie. <laughs> I like to dance with the water. <laughs> the things you have learned will guide you. You try to be tough, but your heart is just not hard enough. You can find happiness right where you are. What a vibe. I had so much motivation at this time in the channel. Everything was just starting. It was so exciting and it was so novel. I think I was creating, I was working on the channel 24 seven. Every spare second I had, I was thinking about the channel and I was working on the channel. I was filming a little video here. When you start a channel, there's no pressure to have like perfect sound equipment, perfect camera, perfect production. So you can just be a hundred percent creative go crazy and it's not like a job yet so there's no level of a grind and there's no level of feeling like you have to participate in hustle culture with it or there's no level of trying to appease the algorithm or like keep your success it's a very beautiful time of course i am very blessed that everything has happened with the channel as it has but it's nice to look back at this and like see how far i've come but like have a look as in like it's a time capsule to have a look at you know younger Kristen and the passion and the joy and how this started and I just had no idea my life was going to go on this trajectory and it was um yeah it was just such a blessing. I have wanted to do videos like that Moana video so many times but copyright is just such an issue. This is kind of exciting it's like I'm watching new videos. 16 personalities. Oh, sorry, Jess, were, you gonna, were you gonna explain the rules? That's fine you've already started. Sorry Jess did you explain the spade rule? Guys, just another rule. 
every Why year's TJ. Why did these TJ people come to a board games night if they were just planning on eating and chasing an endless string of tangents all night? The upside down Quick. cards? Lol. Say something that brings their focus back to the game without being too blunt. STJ. Sorry, I don't see what relevance that has to the game. Nailed it. Oh, nice. For the last time, I'm not evil. This is just my personality. Relatable. As you turn your head, there is a creak of the door. Darkness ascends. Night has fallen. Sorry, no, don't close your eyes just yet. I'm not done. That could be so many types. <laughs> well, if you didn't want to cry, Carl, then you shouldn't have come to a board game night. Huh? Ben needed a seven three rounds ago, and I know that he didn't get one because Sarah put one in the discard pile at the beginning of the game, and I have the other two in my hand. And I'm only holding on to them so that I can win the game when I ask Brad for a five next round. Which I know he has because Sarah gave him three and he only played two. So go on, Ben. Ask me for that seven. Go fish. <laughs> yes, Ben. Go fishing for your beloved seven. Meet face to face with the disappointment of a- Oh, the little <laughs> men are so cute! Hello, little man. I've done that. Well, that's ludicrous. Why would we go to sleep when we know that there's a werewolf in the town? Don't I have a weapon or something? Great game. Guys, this is kind of dark. We should make this a drinking game. Also me. It was fun. What are we going to do now, guys? Oh, it's not over. <laughs> no, that plan makes no logical sense and we're not doing it. Yeah, this is fun. My goodness, are they getting out another board game? I didn't sign up for this. Three spaces for us. So how is everyone? Man, the uh, formula of just one line per character, a classic formula. I sometimes come up with ideas for that kind of formula, but I guess that kind of feels a bit stale now, that formula. But let me know if I'm wrong, please. All right, we'll do a couple more. See some personalities. Sorry, ma'am, I'm this. gonna have to put you on hold right now. Not because I need to, but because the hold music is an absolute banger today. Oh, you have another call? No problem, I'll just wait. No, no. I'll just wait. Sorry, sir. I can't help but notice that you're shouting at me. If you'll just allow me to tell you how we're going to turn your frown upside down today. <sighs> okay, no matter what happens today, you are going to stick to the script. You are not going to go off on tangents. You're going to stick to the script. Like, we're drawn to this idea of having a safety net. But the irony is, it's the lack of a safety net that actually really forces us to get out there. And well, if the people at your bridge club aren't letting you participate, Maggie, you need to let them know how you feel. Well, I'm sorry you're having a hard time navigating our website, ma'am. The website is a joke. Let me tell you about our highly effective long-term budget management scheme. The scheme is a joke. <laughs> I'd love to help you, sir, but I'm actually going to quit this job today, so... I feel like an ISTP would not be there at a job when they didn't believe in the product. Am I wrong? Am I right about that? They'd probably just quit if they thought that the project was... that the product was valueless. Oh, you go to the Grand Canyon? Sick! Well, you're definitely going to need some life insurance for that. What's that? Do I have life insurance? <laughs> Hi, sir. My name is Ashley. And if you have a moment, I'd like to tell you about an opportunity. Ashley was not an ENFP back in the day. She was an INFP with so the sad I'm piano music. Make sure that you're getting the best out of your daily work routine. What do you mean you don't have a routine? What do you mean you have no interest in long-term goals? What do you mean, what do I mean? Hello, Carol, my name is Sarah and I'm gonna be helping you with... <laughs> I wrote that script just for this. You know what, Carol? Let me tell you about the problem with this life insurance fraud that the government has you believing you need. No worries, take it easy, man. <laughs> Oh, great guy. Hey, Ash, did you manage to sell any of the product today? Also, Ash. Oh, yeah, the product. And so what you'll then Two be able Ashleys. to do is multiply the common denominator by three, and what you'll be left with is the interest rate plus inflation for the next five years. I had no idea what You're I was talking welcome, about. very welcome, sir. Anyway, let me tell Zero you about the idea. product that I'm meant to be selling you today. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello. Okay, no matter what this next person says, do not let them rope you into Classic another gag. conversation about Just their life. Just get the ESFJ to sing. Their pets. You've got this. Stay strong and stay focused. Hi, um, my name is Sarah, and if you have a moment, I'd love to talk to you about... 
Why are there two Ashleys oh, and yeah, two no, Sarahs? That's fine. You, can, you can put your cat outside. Come on, Kristen. Oh, is he? Oh, is he a Siamese cat? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey, can I get fired for hanging up on people? That was fun. Which brings us to the one that boosted the algorithm for the first time. This is the one that has the most views on my channel, I think. 457,000 views. 16 personalities in a monologues at parties. The first video that went viral, I guess. Okay, it's probably coming up on 9.30 now, which means that I will have stayed for the two hours that I said I would. What? How has it only been 30 minutes? Awesome, so what do you do for fun? Uh, well, I'm kind of into Oh my gosh, is that Jerry? I haven't seen him in forever. Sorry, just a second. Ooh, carrot sticks. Me, every day. I should socialize. And then That's my boss ended up being song. really happy with the new system because, hello, it was color coded finally. <laughs> Excuse me. Someone's just put a beer down without using a coaster. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock now. Why aren't people getting tired? Why is that group starting another round of beer pop? Will I ever get out of here? Please, please release me. <laughs> Malteser. I set up so many lights for this video. The commitment. And it didn't feel like work, it was just exciting. Not that it feels like, I mean, it does feel like work now, but I do it happily because it's a great job, but there's just a different feeling when it's like your creativity, you know, and it's a hobby at the time. Also, so many of you requested this song. So I put it in the um, description of the video. Such a good song. I still listen to it all the time. Not all the time, but. Oh, wow, look at that guy. I wonder if he's just pretending to have fun. Is he really that happy? Maybe he's suppressing his inner demons. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbow. ESFJ singing again. Let's see. Who can I pick out here to drag into the corner of the room and have a deep and meaningful with? I feel like an INFJ wouldn't necessarily do that. I don't know. INFJs, do you go to parties looking to have DMs with people? Or do you feel. I feel like INFJs might feel that they're forcing themselves on people in that respect and they'd want to. DNM to happen more organically. That said, they would definitely not like small talk. So I think they would like, well, generally speaking, of course, everything's generally speaking on this channel, lol. But yeah, generally speaking, they'd want it to happen organically. I don't think they'd like to drag someone into the corner of a room in like a forceful manner. <laughs> Who would a forceful manner? You come with me and have a DNM right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, this party is in direct violation of social distancing laws. Yeah, see, there it is again. My generic understanding of ENT, lack of understanding of ENTJ, kind of just putting in the same category as ESTJ. I didn't really understand NI at this point, the difference between NI and SI, but I feel like an ENTJ would definitely not come into a party and do that, unless for some reason they had a high value a high interest in social distancing laws and thought it was like the best thing for humanity or like a valuable thing to do. Maybe they would, but I feel like a lot of ENTJs would have found those laws quite arbitrary and certainly wouldn't have come into a party and imposed them on other people. Am I right? Let me know in the comments. But is it a gang of gorillas or a tribe? No, gang is for turkeys and for buffalo and a tribe is for goats. So what's for gorillas? A troop? A parade? I must Google this. Just quietly get up and go to the bathroom. No one will notice. <laughs> I liked Florence. Ah, the oh, classic. No. My favorite song just started playing next door, but Zero I just care for copyright laws. Three travel experiences. I want to know her answer, but the chorus is coming up. The chorus is coming up. What do I do? Huh? Maybe I have to cut the cake. It's gonna take a lot to drive me away. I have no personal interest in what this woman is talking about. She seems to be quite convinced of what she's saying. Let me challenge that. Let me stop you there for a moment. Aren't these the exact people who two weeks ago were clogging up my newsfeed with public service announcements about how important social distancing was? Okay, remember, 
you've been trying really hard to listen more and to not get involved in other people's problems. Hold it in. Hold it in. Sorry, are you aware that you have abandonment issues? <laughs> Classic eat up, Gag. I wonder when's the right time to bring out the fireworks from my car. We all know that ESTP who's brought out the fireworks, am I right? Also, most of these videos include costumes that I just have thrown away at this point. And I'm gonna have to throw away more because now nothing fits because I'm pregnant. Well, there you have it, guys. I feel like I wanna watch more, to be honest, because those videos are quite short compared to what I release these days. But yeah, all this old stuff, it was just such a different time. Like, I was still living with my parents up in these early sort of years and I was still going with this really traditional sort of thumbnail which I got off sort of Frank James and Bogdan Yakubitz and typing T's was a frequent thing okay so this is when I moved house so 16 personalities at a job interview was the only video I filmed in the first house I moved out I moved into out of my parents house and I was there for five months, so that shows you like how long it took for this channel to blow up. And then I think around this sort of spot, the channel blew up. And then yeah, because I was super motivated for like these videos here as hairdressers, the whole how to sell this, the driving video. Oh, and then posting the what personality type am I? Let's watch this one because it'd be fun seeing the difference in my demeanor. Hey guys, Kristen here. There have been a lot of people asking in the comments what my personality type is, so I thought I'd just make this video as an easy access to that information. I am an ESFP, aka the best type ever. Well, jokes, I know a lot of you don't think that. Notice that there aren't a lot of ESFPs on YouTube. Makes sense, because we're probably SEing around. Also, just wanted to huh. say a massive thank you to everyone who has liked my videos and subscribed to this channel. I've super, super enjoyed talking to you guys in the comments and I'm excited for more chats that I'm gonna get to have with you guys in the comments. And I'm excited to continue making videos that you guys seem to like. I'm glad I'm not the only one who finds myself funny. Love MBTI. For years, I've been that awkward person that keeps bringing it up Cute. at parties when no one asks. So I'm excited to get a bit more immersed into the YouTube community for MBTI because you guys all seem to love it and you seem to know what you're talking about, which is awesome. All right, until next time, guys. Bye. Cute. That was such a cute, positive, happy energy. I was so nervous to publish that, as I said before. Wow, my thumbnails have got so much more colorful. Yeah, and then it was um, lots of typing T's. Don't at me. And then there was this My Myers Briggs story, which I was also very nervous for. And I think I was very much performing for that in a sense because I was nervous. And then of course the first FI heavy video where I was like, I have to tell people, to, you know, not to use MBTI in the wrong way. Wow, we're already up to the 16 functions appearing as the angel on their shoulder. So 16 personalities interacting on a rainy day and the functions as angels on the shoulder were peak motivation for the channel. I've been motivated for the channel. Of course, it comes in ebbs and flows these days. More ebbs than flows since being pregnant. I did actually the first whole year on my channel just on my phone. I cannot believe I did that to myself. And I remember when I had my first conversation with Eric when he was like, are you a fool? He didn't say those words, but he's but the essence was, are you an idiot? Why have you been using your phone? Do you know how much more time you could save if you actually had a laptop and were using editing software on a computer and truth be told when i did eventually get the computer which happened thanks to a very generous patron who literally donated this computer to the channel in the early days when i did not have money to spend on a new computer and my old computer was just so old it was like a 2011 model that it wasn't going to support like final cut pro so someone donated a laptop to the channel I was so grateful and I was able to start editing properly on proper software like a year after the channel happened and I consider that just like so god ordained it was like a miracle that I needed at the time I was so burnt out from having done this just on my phone for so long but I look back and this was the time when I was actually motivated enough to make these long this video is 12 and a half minutes and this this um concept is like really quite creative I don't mean to sound like I'm you know I'm so creative it's not what I'm saying. It's just, you know, I'm proud of myself. It's a good concept. It's something that I think was, I don't think it was even mine. I think someone in the, com the comments suggested it to me, but I just can't believe that I did this all on my phone. Crazy, amazing. This is what passion and motivation does for you. And then of course, 16 personalities on a rainy day, a classic. A lot of people say that this is their favorite video of mine. 
so far. There seems to have been a certain magic that was... Excuse me, I'm trying to record a video. Thanks, mate. There seems to have been a certain magic or formula that I used or captioned in this video, whether it was like the rainy atmosphere or like the cozy atmosphere, or maybe just I've had good writing that day or good acting, I'm not sure, but people love this video. There is a very like cozy homely vibe to it because it was very home video at the time, not high production. And I was like using different angles, using different rooms. I was telling my housemates to like get out of the room I was gonna use, rip, terrible. When did I get the green screen? Yeah, I would have got the green screen for this video. So two years ago, gosh, that's so long ago. It feels like yesterday. We got more typing teas. Then I brought Jenna on the channel, Princess Leia video newscasters wow this was all at the very beginning of the channel that's so crazy to me and now we have you know created so many videos you see everything just kind of getting more colorful as jenna came on and made my thumbnails and i can see like i know where all of the ebbs and flows in my energy and creativity happened here yeah there was a certain freedom and creativity that came with the particular lifestyle that i was living so at this time was i still doing my university degree no i i finished my thesis before the channel blew up so wow one year i did a lot in a year far out it's so funny because this whole way this whole way along i've been telling myself i'm not good enough i need to be better i'm not putting out enough content but i look now and i'm just like wow i created a lot i was uploading a video every week pretty much for the whole year and putting a lot of effort into concepts and ideas and acting and Everything. Dating after you've been to therapy brackets. Funny. Oh, the Easter video. That was such a fun video, although I had better help as a sponsor, regrettably. Yeah, so the lifestyle that I was living, I was just doing a few private tutoring hours per week and I had the rest of the time pretty much to do YouTube and I wasn't really in a serious relationship and I didn't have many commitments. Otherwise, so my entire heart and soul could go to the channel, which is such, such a different time. Oh, look, here's the culprit we were talking about earlier. Goodness me. And then I started through the eyes, of, which did really well. Here we go. Look, this one has 2,000 views, 200,000 views. And then I started Fridays. That was the point at which I realized I need to be talking about things that are more important to me in order to keep my creative momentum going. I was, the channel was getting a bit stale for me at that point. That's why I was trying new things, I think. But yeah, five days alleviated that and then some. I was able to continue with the channel happily now that I had a vessel through which to talk about things that really mattered to me and cared about me. Sorry, that I cared about. This was also the time that I was diving more hardcore into MBTI theory, which is why I released another Cognitive Functions video. This senses aren't stupid video is a bit cringe to me now, to be honest. And then the in real life concept oh and then this one i'm super proud of this one this one is 52 minutes something i could not do as easily but it was a passion project that i just had to do the once and it took me so long and so much mental energy i couldn't do it easily again nature documentary of course we love that haha -ha, no <laughs> yes and my collaboration with lily that was fun ghosts is one of my favorite all-time videos and this was around the time i started dating andrew i think because this one here was filmed in his apartment i had so much fun with that yeah and just trying out different things to see what would work oh and the um what makes i what makes this type feel loved series wow 16 personalities kidnapping me was 11 months ago what and then i released the YouTube memberships and just released a whole bunch of videos all at once. And then the 50k stream 11 months ago. Wow. And I'm only on 58k subscribers. That just shows that there was a difference in the, the priorities shifted and my life shifted. I mean, I got more serious with Andrew. I became engaged. Yeah, there we go. There's the engagement video. Became engaged and things changed. It wasn't just the channel anymore. It was, you know, forming a life, forming a family, preparing for marriage. And then of course the tier ranking series came. I noticed at this point that the views were going down for the regular formula, the 16 personalities as or whatever. And I was pretty desolate <laughs> about the channel. I was like, I don't know where else I can take this channel. If it's getting stale, I don't know what more I can do. And then I cannot for the life of me remember how the tier ranking idea came to me. Maybe I said it in the comments somewhere of the video, but I've forgotten now, pregnancy brain. But you guys loved that. And so I was like, bam, here we go. Another 16 videos out of this. <laughs> Got some more Fridays content. And then of course the younger self concept. 
and tier ranking, tier ranking, and that brings us to today. Wow, what a time. How many videos do we have here? 228 videos in three years. That's pretty cool. That averages out to more than one video a week, which is pretty cool if we're to go on the three week, the three year time period. But there were many weeks I obviously released a couple of videos. And let's see how many views we have. 12,648,569 views. Amazing. 12 million. I would never, ever, 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 ever have thought I would get that many. I do still have lots of dreams for this channel. In some reality, I have a dream that I would be able to get so much motivation and time back that I could hit 100,000 subscribers. But my brain and my creativity just feels dried up at the moment. And I'm so keen to keep creating top content, but I feel like I need new ideas and just to also get a sense of what you guys want to see. So please let me know in the comments if you have any ideas and the even if you just want to comment on the things that um, you, you would like to see on the channel. I know you're going to say that you would like me to finish the Through the Eyes of series with the ESFP and you would like me to return to Typing Tees, which I could do. I think a lot of my subscribers would be like, Typing Tees? What the heck is that? Anyway, do let me know in the comments. I've enjoyed the channel immensely. This has been life changing. It's so cool. I feel like it's mine. It's like a portfolio that I'll have forever, please God. And I'm so proud of it. I've got so much to show for all my hard work. I've formed an awesome community with you guys and on the Patreon community, we've become so tight knit. We've been doing live streams on the Patreon pretty much every month for about two years now. Maybe, was it end of 20? Yeah, no, it was end of 2020 I got a Patreon. So yeah, almost three years now, two and a half. And people are on the Patreon who have been there since the beginning. And that's so humbling and it's just so cool. There are people who I have connections with, friendships with, wouldn't know existed if I had never started this journey, if I'd never believed in myself. And I did because you guys gave me support from day one, which I so appreciate. I know that things are changing, but I don't want to leave YouTube anytime soon. I do want to keep being on here, producing content for you guys. It's something I love. It's something I feel I'm good at. It's something I feel comfortable with, but that challenges me enough. And yeah, I'm not going anywhere. So thanks for being with me on this journey so far. Thanks for watching the, this video. This was fun to film. And I guess I'll catch you next time for some other video when I feel like I don't have energy enough to film a skit and I can just sit in front of a camera and talk about something. Okay, until next time, guys. Bye.